yeah, that one, that one's totally on me. I um, I accidentally pressed the stop button with my nose because I was leaning into the, leaning into the device to scream effectively. But um, as a result, I I kind of stopped recording the video part of the way through. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so it was not until the crocodile opened its maw that he began screaming in horror at the sharp fang si shining with the sun. Ah! He screamed. <laughs> he screamed. Chris's loud screams were the trigger for Lucario's rage to come forth. Bearing his fangs like a beast, Lucario roared loudly and charged forwards, fists flaring up with intense aura in the name of his trainer. He was up in a high get the lesser known sequel to In the Name of the Father, starring Daniel Day Lewis. Fucking shoot me in the head. He was in high gear and there was no way he could stop his fury until every enemy wasn't alive and breathing. Was dead, essentially. The children were surprised when the crocodiles they were fighting were hastily pulled back by their tails to the spot where they were minding their own business before. And the angered Lucario roared louder as he reached out for the crocodile harming his trainer. Squeezing its tail, w large tail, with a free hand and tossing it back to its other comrades. It wasn't over yet. It was an unforgivable deed to hurt Chris and Lucario's eyes. Up until now, the boy had gone unscathed in the adventure, and Lucario wasn't being completely himself when he saw the blow. It riled him up so badly that he became blinded by rage, his glare piercing through the six crocodiles' eyes. Whimpering, the crocodiles felt death right before the aura Pokemon lunged himself at them with a high jump, leaving the children behind to go help Chris climb out fr from the water. The trainer noticed the abrupt change and froze there. No, no, don't! Juff said, holding out a hand as the other children watched on. Paula looked at him and said, Juff, please, we should just leave this to him. Why do you two oppose the idea so badly anyway? Yeah, I don't understand here either, Ness spoke up, dusting off his shorts. Why not let the guy with super energy nuke the enemy for us when the going gets very tough? The universe is giving us a break with Lucario, why not take advantage of him? Plus they irked him so badly when they went after Chris. Forgive them, father, for they know not what they, they, know not what they say. The sound of limbs and bones being m being mercifully torn apart. Yeah, I think Aura Channel, Chris, and I have very different definitions of the word mercy. Uh, the sound of limbs and bone being mercifully torn apart turned their heads to the general direction, causing plenty of eyes to widen in shock and horror at the bloodshed, bloodshed taking place before them. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh my. Ness shuddered. Paula covered her mouth and looked the other way, though she still heard the sounds of bones irking in her, irking her ears, um, giving her a nice graphic image in her mind. I... I can't see this, she said. I'm not supposed to see this stuff yet. Yeah, Lucario is just, you know, fucking monster, frankly. <laughs> just tearing these things limb from limb. Or a channel of Chris, you have a sick fucking mind for, you know... Rated T for teen, I guess. Uh, <laughs> these kids are going to be traumatized for the rest of their lives. None of us have to. I'm not supposed to see see, to see this stuff yet. Blech. I'm not supposed to see this stuff yet. None of us have to. Juff yelled, trying to silence the bone ripping sounds with his hands cupping his ears. He looked back to see Chris sitting down and shaking uncontrollably. C Chris, he went over to his side and went to check up on him. Chris, are you? Okay. B blood. Chris breathed out, embracing his knees. B -b 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 <laughs> blood. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> you fucking. No, I'm not gonna say that. It's a dumb joke. I was gonna make a joke about it sounding like dubstep, but it's not 2013 anymore. Dubstep jokes aren't funny. Could Chris. Juff waved a hand in front of him, but Chris didn't react to it. Oh no, Chris! <sighs> You're a sadistic fuck, or a channeler, Chris. You really are. <laughs> There's these poor fucking crocodiles getting torn limb from limb. Lucario has anger issues the likes of which has never been seen before. Later. I just said later, don't puck your ears up, it's not that exciting. The children felt like the croissants they ate weren't meant to be in their stomachs. Said stomachs disagreeing to any food contained. Clutching their bellies with both hands and looking partially ill, the children walked across the small wasteland of blood Lucario left behind in his wake. 
Holy shit, I thought I thought I was desensitized to this stuff at this point, what with a caveman, but I guess not. Or you he's st <laughs> he's he's still doing all he can to to make the story as horrific as possible. Um Uh let's see. The aura Pokemon felt extremely guilty when he found out Chris wasn't saying anything. Things had gotten really bad after taking one good look at him. No, no, don't worry. It's not the fact that you decapitated the, the, decapitated the crocodiles. That's not the issue. The problem is that you made Chris get a little bit upset. That's, that's the real problem at hand here, I think. You're right. Chris was paralyzed in fear. Things had gotten really bad after taking one good look at him. Chris was paralyzed in fear, embracing himself and breathing in and out heavily. His breathing was so irregular that his eyes were also affected, shaking slightly to the sides as Lucario tried to make him walk forward by gently pushing his back. Still, Chris was at a complete loss of words. He was traumatized at the horrific display back then, and seeing the smallest drop of blood sent him to something close to having cardiac arrest. Ness had offered to use healing energy to the group. That's not how psychology works. Though Lucario went undamaged in the fray of battle.